Ancient Earth was a water world. Now, evidence is mounting that some 3 billion to 4 billion years ago, the planet's oceans held nearly twice as much water. Enough to submerge today's continents. Above the peak of Mount Everest. The flood could have primed the engine of plate tectonics, and made it more difficult for life to start on land. Rocks in today's mantle, the thick layer of rock beneath the crust, are thought to sequester an ocean's worth of water or more, in their mineral structures. But early in Earth's history, the mantle, warmed by radioactivity, was four times hot. Recent work using hydraulic presses has shown, that many minerals would be unable to hold as much hydrogen, and oxygen at mantle temperatures and pressures. Two minerals found deep in the mantle, store much of its water today, wadsleyite and ringwoodite, high-pressure variants of the volcanic mineral olivine. Rocks rich in those minerals, make up 7% of the planet's mass, and although only 2% of their weight is water today. The team have created these mantle minerals, by squeezing rock powders to tens of thousands of atmospheres, and heating them to 1,600 degrees Celsius or more. Dong's team stitched together the experiments to show Wadsleyite and Ringwoodite hold fractionally less water, at higher temperatures. Moreover, the team predicts, as the mantle cooled, these minerals themselves would become more abundant, adding to their ability to soak up water as Earth aged. The experiments aren't alone in suggesting a waterbound planet. There's pretty clear geological evidence, too, says Benjamin Johnson, a geochemist at Iowa State University. Titanium concentrations in 4 billion year old zircon crystals from Western Australia suggest they formed underwater. And some of the oldest known rocks on Earth, 3 billion year old formations in Australia and Greenland, are pillow basalts, bulbous rocks that only form as magma cools underwater. Samples from a 3.24 billion year old chunk of oceanic crust, left on Australia's mainland were far richer, in a heavy oxygen isotope than the present day oceans. Because water loses this heavy oxygen, when rain reacts with the continental crust to form clays, its abundance in the ancient ocean, suggests the continents had barely emerged by that point, Johnson and Wing concluded in a 2020 Nature Geoscience study. Although the larger ocean would have made it harder, for the continents to stick their necks out, it could explain why they appear to have been on the move early in Earth's history, says Rebecca Fisher, an experimental petrologist. Larger oceans could have helped kick off plate tectonics. As water penetrated fractures, and weakened the crust, creating subduction zones, where one slab of crust slipped below another. And once a subducting slab began its dive, the drier, inherently stronger mantle would have helped bend the slab, ensuring its plunge would continue, says June Kariniga, a geophysicist.